Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Pi Omega and Empire of Japan. So this is gonna be a maintenance episode, mostly because I'm <laughs> um you know what, I'm not gonna go with the screw up. It was a tactical retreat because uh we thought that this island was um garrisoned by a much stronger army than it actually was, and we decided to land on a different port. That was our yeah, that's what happened. It was totally not a misalignment between the Marines and the <laughs> Eighth Southern Army trying to take uh the island of Sulawesi. Uh, but in all seriousness, we're gonna take these two islands and uh, then we're gonna land over here and I'm gonna move in uh, the prepared 8th Southern Army that's going to uh, take this island. In the meantime, our marines are going to land... Now, that is a question. We want to... I think we want to take these two islands. Um, are they within our zone? They are within our zone, so landing there would be pretty good and then we can move on uh, to Borneo uh, sorry not Borneo Papua New Guinea Borneo is uh, over here right yep 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 my bad so to Papua we want to take Papua uh, so that we have a large base of operations before we actually attack Commonwealth of Australia I'd also like to make sure that there are no reinforcements anywhere uh, their army is super weak, so I'm not really afraid of us taking it. What I'm afraid of is that there's a bunch of uh, very strong American divisions uh, over there. So, uh, one thing that we'll need to do is strengthen our submarine fleet and actually make sure that uh, they cannot uh, come to it from any side. We'll probably have to send our first fleet here as well just to cover it. Now, speaking of fleets, uh, two things that I noticed. First of all, our first Kantai is actually moving down south, where there is an American carrier fleet over here, and we're trying to intercept it. And there's another one over here. Or is it the same one? Task Force 26. Yeah, okay, so it's here. We're trying to catch them. So we'll see if we can uh, intercept them and sink some of their ships. Furthermore, uh, the Shokaku has been successfully upgraded. Isn't it lovely? Light attack 33, light piercing 11, armor 31, anti-air 20, deck size 88. So we still don't have that naval doctrine finished. Uh, where is it? Here, escort patrols. Okay, in 33 days, so we're gonna check it afterwards. Uh, but having Shokaku here is actually amazing because I can move it here and we're gonna send it drilling. And then we're gonna send its uh, squadrons to drill. And we're gonna add the other uh, carrier junior. It's Almost done. I think it's just a couple more days, isn't it? Yeah, Shinano Cross refit 22nd of March. Yeah, in about less than two weeks. So we'll have them um, drill in the Sea of Japan. And once they're done, they will be assigned to the first Kantai. And I think I will probably take away Ryujo and Hosho and put each one on the second and third Kantai to give them at least some carrier support. I don't know what they have. Two carrier, three carrier fighters. I might want to switch those a bit. No carrier bombers. Yeah, the cores are supported. I mean, that doesn't really hurt us. But I would probably like it to have them fully equipped with fighters because then um, they will provide cover or a better cover for our fleets. But second and third Kantai is not really meant to have any, you know, super dangerous operations. Still, so we have the advanced carrier here, so we might want to design another one. Size 44. Yeah, but they would be really expensive. 
but building two more carriers for the second and third Kantai would not be bad. Or maybe we could build it for the first Kantai and move Zuyahos as well eventually. Oh god, wow, you did really well. So this is Shoho and Zuiho. Damn, okay, well, you sank the Iowa. And so did he assisted in sinking New Jersey. Killed the USS Trevor, he killed the USS Minneapolis. Yeah, our carriers are beasts. Okay, and you guys are still, for some reason, hunting this. <laughs> it's so bizarre. I don't know what's up with that. I think it's stuck. Either way, uh, last but not least, we need to decide what we're going to research here. Now, we don't really need more tank factories. So I think we're going to go for the large truck factories so that we can get more... No. No, we need to fight the workshops. We definitely need to fight the workshops first. Okay. So let's allow the game to get its bearings. Okay, sink some transport ships. Insufficient resources. And this thing with the mods is a little bit annoying, but what can you do? So how are the battles over here progressing? Uh, we are trying to push them out, they just constantly keep reinforcing. Well, two can play this game. I actually don't need to. So let's just keep on with the pressure. We've eliminated the forces over here. Mountains are coming back. And tank divisions over here aren't really doing all that good. And these are jungles, it's not forests, I need to remember that. And I have really heavy presence here, so... Um, these are jungles, these are mountains. Not really a single area that would be easy to penetrate. But okay, that's still fine, because we don't really care. That's honest to god truth. We really do not care. At all. Because if we're absolutely honest, we're not really interested in going deeper into India. We're more interested in fighting Soviet Union and fighting the Americans. Okay, so you should be ready very soon. Yeah. Okay, so I've actually done this, so this is gonna, yep, this is gonna prolong uh, the... Yep, this is gonna prolong the preparation, but it's fine. We can go 12 days just to make sure that it's successful. And you guys finish the engineering company. And we cannot do the third one because we need the improved headquarters company. Which is, I believe, over here somewhere. Yep, this one just, uh, well, oh, huh? okay, but we can get the mechanized attachment. Okay, well, that would be good. And truth be told, we really need to boost the reliability and also the field hospitals. Well, do we want it that much? Wouldn't we want something else more? Uh, one thing that I really wanted, and for years now literally, is the Mountain Warfare Equipment 2. Because that gives us a Mountain Support Company. But I think it's... You know, in the grand scheme of things, the improved headquarter company is more important because we're getting the mechanized equipment and we can actually deploy it to our forces and improve them that way. 
For battalion removal formations and hire, a dedicated headquarters company is essential for the efficient running of the unit. The headquarters company includes the commander, the staff officer, and other officers and personnel in charge of key aspects of the unit, such as training, operations, intelligence, logistics, and communications. The advance in technology, training, and doctrine enables the headquarters company to operate more efficiently and better organize and lead the supporting companies of the unit. Additionally, the mechanization of the headquarters company allows the officers to lead from the front lines and increase the combat capabilities of the unit in general. This is one thing that I actually really liked. I think it was in World of Blaze, where you have way more uh, headquarters detachment, like uh, armored headquarters detachment and, you know, special forces headquarters detachment. And, you know, it's... Uh, Optimized to your actual unit. What the? What the actual hell? Why did you guys stop in here? Oh, hello. This is. Actually, lovely. Oh, you have to stay here, but they won't. We actually work on this, and then launch the counter attack. This could work. Okay, so we finished the semi-modern computing machine, which tops off our research, and we can get the advanced tank radio. So let's get that one. Honestly, um, it's going to come around the same time as the welded armor and will allow us to put upgraded and better units into our area. Okay, so another supply hub, which is going to make us take this entire territory very soon. Lovely, 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 lovely. So we just need to keep working on this. Okay, you guys stop. I mean, we have the capacity, we can just rotate you. Okay, you guys need to go here. You guys need to go over here. Uh, support you here so that we don't lose it. Uh, we need to get in here. Go. Okay, so go in here and then you're gonna change it. Yeah, we're starting to win this. And you support this attack. And we also need to support this area because the fact that I attacked from there made them break. Not repair in Central Mongolia. Ah, oh, that's amazing. We should do that just for the hell of it. And we pushed the tank division out of here. That's funny. Okay, here's the Xinjiang divisions coming. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys can get in here and the motorize. Can take this area. Okay, with us taking the hub, they will have severe problems supplying this area. Okay, several Baikals can be ours soon. Okay, we just take this area. Oh no, 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 oh man. Ah, okay, it doesn't matter. I'm actually uh, taking it with a different division, but 
Yeah, I didn't want to cancel that, but we're gonna push towards the river so that we get a better defensive position and we finish the regimental combat teams, which gives all of our infantry motorized and mechanized extra recovery and organization. Support companies get recovery rates, soft attack, hard attack, and organization. And we can go with centralized fire control. But I think we are actually going to start now with command. Because that's going to give us um, all headquarters detachment, extra organization, and get additional bonus of extra general uh, max army group size plus one. So all of our armies can then get an extra division under their command. Which might not seem like a big thing, but it is. Coordination between the infantry tanks and the air force will take a complex and capable... Uh, wait, what? Coordination between the infantry tanks and air force will take a complex and capable in... Com I guess capability in command and control structure. There is a typo there. Uh, we need more of you. Uh, should give me... I don't care about that one factory. Okay, so advances over there. Advancement over here. We are supporting here. When are you guys arrive there? In three days. I don't think this battle will take that long. And it's gonna be over in less than a day. was a mistake. Because I actually need to get in there. Well, we might take this territory, but we're most likely going to lose this one. Unfortunately. What did we sink anywhere? Free Soviet transports. Okay, and I would like you guys to prepare an attack from here to here. Yep. Insufficient naval superiority in region. What? We have only 41%. Okay, let me clear this one out and add this area and put you over here. And actually, I'm gonna get rid of the Mariana Trench and go over here. And you guys can add Micronesia. Let's get rid of this one and add the Bismarck Sea. Because we need to perform that operation. Didn't know how with the jealousy though. Because I think that's where they send their fleet right now. Okay, let me just take rid of these two. And temporarily at Java, which wants to help. Nice advanced dual purpose 115 to 130 millimeter battery. That will allow us to design our new destroyers very soon. Okay, damage control, we have that. Let's get the naval radar, the symmetric naval radar. That's gonna be really good. And I feel like they send their fleet over here. The main one, anyway. Uh, 
Okay, so we're already attacking and you guys will need to go over there. Vesuvius erupts. Mount Vesuvius, the Italian volcano famous for destroying the Roman city of Pompeii in AD 79, has erupted once again. The ash plumes can be seen from Naples, and although this eruption is not the volcano's most powerful, several villages near its base have suffered extensive damage. Nice, sank a couple of transports. Okay, so what is going on here? Yeah, okay, so this attack failed once again and we've done nothing. This area is almost defended, but we might be able to breach this area. Okay, a free motor effect that we get engine capacity and airplane capacity. So I'm going to put you on uh, the Navy carrier fighters. Yeah, let's put you there. Okay, we can add another factory, that's not a bad idea. So how did this Navy innovation go? I believe it's gonna be fine. I guess we need to get in there. Come on. Seventy one percent. And the navy is going somewhere. Yeah, it's going to attack these guys. So did we run successfully? Looks like we did. Oh, I have it paused and I'm wondering why it's not happening. Come on. Okay. That's your cue, guys. Oh, you are gonna plan attack from here to here. Admiral Nagano fired. This official has fallen out of favor of the political establishment. Whether due to his personality, his failings in his position, his foreign policy disagreements, or to party politics. He has become a political liability. Should we replace him or should the politicians leave the fighting to the military? Osami Nagano. Okay, he's not here. Osami Nagano. Okay. Ah, he's here. Okay. The Nif commander. No, keep him around. I'm not gonna let you screw with him. Okay, immunization advance is finished. Which is nice, that gives this monthly population plus 8%. We can already see the effect immediately. We could go 3,100 per month, civilian up to 200,000. This one would help as well trickle back. Extra trickle back. Anything else that we want here? Energy is fine. Electric arc furnace is fine. Uh, didn't we want... General plastics. Only construction polymers. Now let's get the sulfur drugs. Rifle population plus 5%, stability plus 10. Wait, was that a general purpose? 
no, it's um, limited research slot. Okay, so that's fine. You guys get in there. Okay, modern machine tools have been finished, which is unbelievably amazing. Because modern machine tools give us production efficiency cap plus 5, took out output plus 2, growth plus 10, air production capacity per assembly point plus 1, and same for engine production capacity. And then allows me to do whatever I want with this slot. So let's get construction 5, which is going to increase building speed of everything by 2%. Is there did I just see construction that was a typo? No, no, I'm blind as a bat. Nothing there. Okay, so you guys are landing here, which is great. Yeah, we got the naval capacity 100%. And they are now over here. Yeah, they kind of keep trolling us. So let's go like this. You guys are covering this area and you guys are covering this area. So you can actually drop these two regions and add these two. Why the hell are you based over there? That makes very little sense. Oh, and you are supposed to drill. And so are you. And this submarine can drill over here, and we got two more. So let's just assign them each to these units, and then we're gonna create another wolf pack of five. Foreign influence, organized fascists. That's just lovely. National focused bypass and Imperial Japanese Naval Service has been finished. So that's great, but we wanted a new aircraft, new carrier aircraft, because that gives us a bonus and we get a new design company. Nakajima and Aichi have put forward new designs for carrier attack aircraft. We should pursue development of these to ensure the striking power of our navy for the coming years. And let me just see, we have a pretty high command power. Is there anything that you guys can get as a skill? Uh, nope, not you. Uh, not to you, not to you, nor you. Okay, so our um, our field marshals are they called that? Yeah, field marshals have all the skills they want. I choose you could get another skill. Where's this arm located? Oh, you're on the border. Guerrilla fighter, fortress buster scavenger. Let's give you the entrenchment expert. That's definitely gonna help. Uh, you're f also fighting in the mountains. So an infantry expert is really good for you. Chang'an Defense Force, same. And that's it, it seems. And the naval guy, you are commanding submarines. Submarine attack plus 10%. Definitely a good idea. You're commanding four torpedo boats. Concealment expert, definitely. And you are commanding the new Blue Navy. 
silent hunter definitely okay so we distributed some skills that's good okay you guys get in here what's the naval supremacy now still only percent Three divisions, three divisions. Okay, you guys can work on that while we start sending you around here. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over there. Gonna go all the way over there, accompanied by your friends. I'm gonna go take Makassar. We know that there's at least one unit over here uh, that we are going to have to deal with. Okay, you guys are already launching your invasion. Nice, we did it! Yeah, actually. Passed through here. Uh, so let's reinforce here. Because I believe we have way too many units over there. Go. You also go. Come on, you go as well. But hurry, and we get another military factory. Uh, let's put you on the army white fighters because the air force is our priority right now. I love how China is growing. Look at that 49 divisions now. What about your industry? Are you building 2158? Well. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? So you guys are all taking the island. And you are preparing your naval invasion. Oh, we're missing something. A ton of iron, unfortunately. But okay, I don't think we can get any more iron anywhere, can we? Box it, box it, box it, box it. Uh, box it, box it. Yeah, we keep expanding, but it's box it everywhere. Not really what I'd call amazing. Where's the second division for you? Wait, where's that tank army? Come on, get in there. You owe it to us. Why are we getting the valid armor? Or the escort patrols in seven days. Okay, I think we can do the seven days and call it an episode. Because I want to see what our carriers are gonna do. Okay, another sub. to fight this yes we captured the carrier air force over here so they are heavily outgunned oh in everything we have more white guns double the white guns we have double the heavy guns we have three times the torpedoes we have stronger fleet anti-air and we have more depth charges. And as far as aircraft goes, well, they have more fighters. The same amount of... Wait, no, these are torpedo... Okay, so they got more torpedo bombers. And they got more fighters, but we got extra bombers. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna develop. Layer of storm, shark infested waters. 
and more of everything. Yep, and their carriers are immediately retreating. He already took some casualties over there. So did we do. Okay, yeah, they're retreating. They are retreating. Yep, one of their escort is already down. Four of their escorts are down. Five escorts and one destroyer. Let me just see down here. Is anything happening on the naval invasions? No. Okay, so we can watch it. Nothing in Soviet Union too. Six escorts and a destroyer. Okay, I'll one more discourse. Yeah, a rushing got damaged, so it's retreating. Seven escorts and four destroyers. One of their carriers is gone. Second, three escorts are gone. Four carriers. The battleships, yeah, the, their entire fleet is retreating. Two of our destroyers are retreating. Come on, sink more. Seven escorts and six destroyers. Seven escorts and eight destroyers. Come on, at least one white cruiser. Come on, come on. Nope. Nope. Okay, but this was still a major engagement, which we have won incredibly. So all we lost was 12 carrier fighters, 29 carrier bombers, and 14 carrier cruiser support. They lost 10 destroyers, USS Noah, USS Bori, USS Babbitt, USS Sands, USS Bainbridge, USS Sturtevant, USS Stansbury, USS Ward, USS Moore, and USS Eilat or Eilat? Eilat. And they have seven escorts, USS Partridge, USS Tanager, USS PE-38, USS Bitterm, USS Ogawa, and USS Turkey, and USS Tern. And 14 carrier fighters and 8 carrier bombers. And look at the damage on their ships. Can we capture them again? That would be amazing if we could. But I don't think so. Yeah, we're not able to. Okay, but we have crushed them. This is literally a crushing defeat. Really nice. Our fleets are performing just amazingly. And we finished the research of the upgraded Navy Carrier Cause our support. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. We still have a bunch of days to go before we finish the escort patrols, and yeah, I think this is a good place to end it. So, thank you very much for joining me. This battle has been really nice. Here we sank nine transports. Pretty good. I'm really happy. 7th of April 1944 for you.